This is Grace Park from South Korea, and today I'm going to read you a book called A Fine Dessert. A bit more than 300 years ago, in an English town called Lyme, a girl and her mother picked wild blackberries. Their hands turned purple with the juice. The thorns of the berry bush pricked the fabric of their long skirts. When they got home, the woman skimmed the cream off the evening milk. She added it to the cream from the morning's milk and began to beat it all with a bundle of cream, clean soft twigs. Beat, 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 beat. Her arms began to ache. Beat, 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 beat. Fifteen minutes later, she sopped whipped cream. The girl drew water from the well. She put the berries in a piece of muslin of and rinsed them. Then she squeezed the squashed and streamed them through the muslin get rid of the seeds. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. You may lick the spoon, love, said the woman. So the girl did. Mmm. They carried the mixture to the ice pit in the hillside. It chilled near seats of winter ice packed with reeds and straw. After the family supper, cold chicken, mushroom ketchup, and meat pie, they spooned the blackberry full into blue dishes and served it to fam father and the older boys. Even the baby had some. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Later, in the kitchen, the girl licked the bowl clean. What a fine dessert. A bit more than 200 e years ago, <clears throat> outside a city called Churston, South Carolina, a girl and her mother picked blackberries from the plantation garden. A house horse straw wagon delivered cream from a nearby dairy. The girl beat the cream with a metal whisk made by the local blacksmith. Blacksmith is making things. It's a boy. Beat, 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 beat. Her arms began to ache. Beat, beat. Ten minutes later, whipped cream. The girl washed the berries in water from the well. Then she smashed them through a tin sieve with the black of a spoon, getting rid of the seeds. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. You may lick the spoon, child. The woman said, so the girl did. Mm. They carried the mixture to a wooden box in the basement. It was 
stacked with blocks of ice, leaned with lead and insulated with cork. They put the bull in. After waiting table at supper, where the master and his family ate turtle soup, roast turkey, corn cakes, and sweet potatoes, they spooned the blackberry full into yellow dishes and served it. Later, the girl and the mother hid in the closet and licked the bowl clean together. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That what a fine dessert. A bit more than 100 years ago, in a city called Boston, Massachusetts, a girl and her mother bought two wooden boxes of blackberry at the open-air market. When they got home, their morning's delivery of Pasteurized cream was waiting at the door in a pretty glass bottle. The woman looked at a recipe book. She beat the cream with cast iron, cast iron, rotary, beaters, whir, whir. Five minutes later, whipped cream. The girl threw water from the new faucet in the kitchen. She washed the berries and smashed them through a sieve with her fingers. Her hands turned purple with the juice. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. Do you want the spatula, my pet? Said the woman. Yes, please, said the girl, and licked in clean. Mmm. They carried the blackberry full to a wooden ice box stocked with blocks of ice they had delivered her each day. After Sunday dinner, potato soup, roast ch chicken, and canned asparagus on toast, they spooned the food into green dishes and ate it together with father and the younger brothers. Even the baby had some. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Back in the kitchen, the girl ran her tongue along the inside of the bowl. What a fine dessert. Just a couple of years ago, in a city called San Diego, California, a boy and his dad bought two cardboard boxes of blackberries and a carton of pasteurized organic cream at the supermarket. When they got home, the man printed out a recipe from the internet. The boy beat the cream with the electric mixer. Zzzz. Two minutes later, with cream. It reminded the boy of shaving foam. The man ran water in the sink and washed the berries in the Colander. He crushed them in a food processor, then pushed them through a sieve with a plastic spatula. Together, they poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. Can I lick the spatula? asked the boy. 
course you can, buddy," said the man. So the boy did. Hmm. They put the mixture in the refrigerator. The doorbell rang, and friends searched it, bringing cartons of lemonade, grilled vegetables, enchiladas, and tomato salad. After a long good dinner, the man and his son spooned the blackberry foam into white dishes and served it to their guests. Everyone gobbled it up, especially the babies. Mmm, mmm, mmm! After the guests went home, the boy stood in the messy kitchen, licking the inside of the bowl. What a fine dessert! But the blackberry foo had been so very, very delicious. There wasn't much left. A fine dessert. The end. Thank you for listening, Ed.